Hey everybody, let's talk about insurance. You buy insurance in case something bad happens. This is why this guy is still happy right after he crashed his car. He knows he's going to get money from his car insurance company. Now, let's go further. Wells Fargo lends a million dollars to Sven. In return, Sven promises to pay 10% a year in interest. But Wells Fargo is a little nervous about having all its eggs in one basket. So, it goes to Ted and buys insurance. It then pays Ted 6% a year for the peace of mind that insurance brings. Now, let's see what happens when Sven is a bum and refuses to pay. Just like the car example on the first slide, Ted needs to make Wells Fargo whole. He pays them the million, the million dollars. You might assume somebody is getting screwed over here, but nobody is. Now let's see why. Wells Fargo wins because it gets 10% a year in interest from Sven and pays out only 6% a year in insurance. So it's earning a 4% profit a year with no risk. Ted wins because he gets 6% a year in insurance income and probably insures over 100 different companies. He assumes 4% of his companies will fail in a given year. So he's earning 2% a year with no risk. It's called a credit default swap because Wells Fargo and Ted are swapping the risk of lending to Sven. Car insurance is insurance on a car, and a credit default swap is simply insurance on lending. Nothing more. In the next video, we'll talk about some interesting philosophical considerations that this type of insurance brings up. Finally, any feedback would be greatly, greatly appreciated. My email is here, and I will reply to everybody. Thank you very much.